This week we'll be going over the Know Thy Neighbor achievement in Bug Snacks. This is for returning every Grumpus back to Snacksburg. There are going to be 12 of them that you actually need for this, and they're all going to be scattered around the map in each of the different regions. They all also have their own little series of missions that they actually want you to do before they'll decide that they're going to return to Snacksburg. And now, let's get into it. The first of these grumps is Philbo. You'll find him first as you land on the island in a bit of trouble. He'll ask you to get him a strabby and then a few other bug snacks to get him his fix so he can get up and run back to Snacksburg with you. That's all that's needed for him to return because his is one of the quickest quest lines to get him to return. But all of them are going to have some little quest line that they're going to want you to do in order for them to come back. And Philbo is actually the one that gives you the quest to bring everyone back and is the reason that we're going after this achievement. But you? You're pretty good at stuff and, well, nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. On your way back with him, you'll run into our second Grumpus, Wambus. He's running a little sauce garden out here and wants you to help him lure a bunger into a pen off to the side. He'll then ask you to go grab him a frighter from the cave nearby, two shiskabugs, and a bunger. Once you've fed all of these to him, he'll be ready to help lead you the rest of the way over to Snacksburg. Right before the entrance to Snacksburg, though, you're going to find Befiga. She first wants you to pick up her journal, but it is a fake journal. It won't be that easy to get a hold of that thing. And after that, she'll ask you to go scan six of the types of bug snacks in the Garden Grove region where she's been staying. Once that's done, she'll want you to catch and feed her her favorite bug snacks. And she loves weenie worms. At that point, you have one task left for her to come back to Snacksburg, hang out outside of Wambus' house around midnight, and find out what he's up to. Once you see that, return to her and let her know about what you saw and she'll come back. Then we'll head over to Simmering Springs and talk to our next grump, Gramble. He'll be over here with Wiggle and his first task will be for you to direct his pet Strabby through a maze while it's in a buggy ball. Turns out that that Strabby likes you, so you end up keeping it as a tool. He'll then ask you to catch three peel bugs for him, which you can do by using your new buggy ball. And once that's done, the last task for him is to use the buggy ball, covered in chocolate, to lead two Queebles over to his pen. After he's been reunited with all of those, he'll be ready to head back to his barn in Snacksburg. Next up, we can take care of Wiggle's tasks and what she wants done. First, she wants a Pinantula caught and fed to her for some new hair. I need a new look. Mm, how about a wild new hairdo? Then she wants one grape skeeto, which of course you can get nearby and catch by luring it to eat another bug snack. It'll get too fat to fly, and then you can just walk right up and grab it. She'll eat that and then ask you to go find two pop ticks for her, which you'll need to do by going over to the Scorched Gorge. Over here, you'll need to have a Scorpenio catch those pop ticks on fire to pop them, then catch them and take care of Wiggle's last task. She'll then return back to Snacksburg. Heading back over to the Scorched Gorge, we can go ahead and get Tiffany to come back. You'll talk to her and she'll ask you to go through the ruins to catch three of these Ribblepeeds. Once all of those are in hand, you can feed those to her and do her next task. Breaking into the closed off entrance of the ruins. You'll go down in there with her and then she'll ask you to go enter the other hidden ruins the same way. And over in there, you'll have to catch a shy weenie worm and feed that to her. And at that point, that's all she needs to go ahead and return to Snacksburg. For our other Grumpus in the Scorched Gorge area, we have Cromdo, the great used snack salesman. First, he'll try to sell you a broken bridge, and then ask you to use a launch pad to hit his windmills and knock the spiderwebs off of them. Once those are spinning, he'll want you to catch three Cheapoofs by launching your snack trap up to them midair. Then also nearby, he'll have you grab a sweet frighter before his last task where he asks you to get two bopsicles for him. But to do that, you're gonna need to head over to Sugar Pine Woods. You'll have to heat it up, and then wait for the timer so that it can break apart into two separate ones. Once that's done, he'll go ahead and return to Snacksburg. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below to let me know. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and if you want to support the channel even further, make sure you hit the join button and become a member. Now going back over to Sugar Pine Woods, we can start working on getting Chandlo and Snorpy to return. 
I put them both together because it's mostly just getting Shanlo to return, with a couple of things after needed to get Snorpy, but they are very much so tied together. Chanlo's first task is, in fact, to talk to Snorpy about a new tool that's going to help you grab Shanlo's basketballs so that you can make three baskets for him. He's only going to work with a bala, so you better not miss. Then you'll need to catch him a Cinesnail. Then one's not enough, so he's going to ask you to get two more. But he needs even more carbs, so you're going to have to go grab two Hunnabees for him by launching your Snack Trap up to them and feed those to Chanlo. While that's the last of his tasks, he won't actually go back to Snacksburg just yet. You'll have to now talk to Snorpy and convince him to go back as well before they'll both end up going. So for Snorpy, he's going to hug you, and then you're going to need to grab the tool from up on the top of the nearby tower. With that, you can return to Snorpy and he'll ask you to go grab two Quookies and turn his teeth into those. Next, we'll be grabbing two Charmellows, which of course you're going to need to lure into hitting the Bopsicles to put out their fire. Then catch them and feed those to Snorpy. At that point, you'll get another hug from Chanlo this time, and they'll both head back to Snacksburg. Then we'll head over to the Boiling Bay to work on bringing Floofty back over to Snacksburg. She of course wants you to help her with the research, so you'll need to catch a red Bonopper by setting up a tripwire in its flight path through the trees. Then she'll want you to turn her hand into a strabby, which are super easy to get if you don't already have one stuffed in your backpack. Then her peg leg will need to be changed over to one as well, and she'll finally ask you to get her kokomites for four of her limbs. After all that, her last task is to change her limbs around to noodler, kokomite, red bonopper, and strabby. The only one left that we haven't already given her is a noodler, which you can get from the lava cave nearby. Just lure it out to the beach and let the Sodi spray it to easily get this one captured. Once you've turned her into those things, she'll be ready to return to Snacksburg. Our second to last Grumpus will be Shelda, who's meditating over in the sizzling sands. First, she'll ask you to get some cheese sauce. That's going to be way up here on top of this rock formation, which of course you can do what I did and just launch yourself up step by step. Or you can go the easier way and just use the snack grappler to grab some. She'll then ask you to crack open two egglers, which you can get the eggs from the praying picantus nests and either have them attack the eggs themselves or use some spuddies. After that, you'll need to break apart two of the praying picantuses. You can either lure the buffalo locust over to it and bait it to dive into the picantus, or just lure them over to the water to get them wet, and once the timer runs out, they'll break apart similarly to the bopsicles or the Snoopy Banoopy. Then the last thing she'll have you do is break into the underground ruins by baiting a buffalogist to dive onto the cracked area of the ground. And your last task for her will be to use a chocolate covered buggy ball to lure the black rasby through the underground maze and up to her. At that point, she'll agree to come back with you over to Snacksburg. And the last Grumpus we need for the achievement will be Eggabel. She's going to be up at the Frosted Peak in the main cavern. Once you get up there and talk to her, she's going to take you down to her igloo to the side of the mountain, and then you'll start the Crack the Code quest where you have to find Lisbert's journal, the missing page, her device notes, and the mountain map. You get Lisbert's journal from Triffany once you do her interview, and the diary key after you do the interview with Gramble. The missing page will be on the Boiling Bay Beach on the side near Floofty. The device notes come from Wambus once you do his interview, and the mountain map notes you'll get from Wiggle once you finish her interview. With all of that given to Egabel, she'll ask you to bring half of the bug statue sacrifices, which can be any three of Flutterjam, Scoopy, Chippy, Stoodler, Mountain Sodi, and Chill Nilly. Once you bring those three and place them on the appropriate statues, you'll basically be done. The only other task for you to do at this point is to go get Philbo so that he can try to help get into the ancient door. And after all of that, Egabel won't technically come back to Snacksburg, but this will complete her portion of this, getting you the achievement. And that is everything you have to do for the Know Thy Neighbor achievement in Bug Snacks. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my playlist for my other Bugsnax achievement guides or whichever one of my videos YouTube recommends.